Hello everyone, Biggie here, and starting just another round for a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online. I am doing one right now that's uh, based on um, basically the five companions, I believe. And one of them is uh, Lyris, so... Oh, and we get... Uh, Mr. Cadwell. Voiced by John Gleese. <laughs> hey, John. How you doing? I understand you visited the Halls of Torment. Marvelous place. Marvelous. I'm yeah, you were just there with the tortured screaming, but uh, otherwise it's quite lovely. <laughs> Honor and faith to you, my friend. We are nearly ready to depart. My lord Varen requested that Tharn and Snow Lily join us, for safety's sake. Though I have seen fewer places as tranquil as the Valley of Blades. An old friend, Kasura, dwells there. Before I was captured, I placed an enchanted ring in her keeping. The ring is a key of sorts. Without it, we will not be able to open the secret chamber where the Amulet of Kings lies hidden. She was my first mentor and instructor, a true master of blades. She still trains young swordsmen in the valley, though she deems worthy of her instruction. Oh, the blades! Swordsmanship, but much more than that. Her teachings revolve around a trinity of body, blade, and brilliance. The sword singers of old were said to be masters of all three. Oh, look, there will be time for questions later. Are you ready to depart? I'm ready. I'll open a portal to hasten your journey. Can I bring Lyris to? Voiced by, I believe, Jennifer Hale. I believe. Sounds a lot like her. And the voice of Sai also sounds oddly familiar, like... There she is! Sounds odd, like, I don't know, Keith Richardson or someone like that? At least this particular storyline, there have some some more of the popular voice actors which is nice what is this the abbey uh -oh. burns quickly we must find kasura so much destruction what could have done this i'm afraid i've seen this before keep an eye skyward titanborn <laughs> anything here there! Kasura, are you injured? What happened? Saisahan! Intruders! Cultists! They attacked the Abbey. So many of my students have fallen. The Abbey is in ruins, Kasura. Oh, uh -oh. could they? Like nothing I've ever seen. Cultists. They're opening rift to oblivion. Oh, save your strength, Kasura. Uh oh, oblivion. We will make them pay. They never go away, do they? I promise you. <laughs> what do you think? Trap? It's only a trap if you don't know about it. I assume everything is a trap, therefore, it's a challenge. Uh huh. Where's General Akbar when he can say it's Mother a trap? Akbar, come forth and destroy his enemies. But you are the enemy. Playing anti it? Uh oh. Huh? Yeah, there was no flame there. Or Antronok. Sorry if I don't pronounce things right. How to attack. Yeah. Hosts of Oblivion. Come forth and feast. How come my hands can't see keep having that blue flame? Titan returns. Ah, 
Sai Sahan and company at last. My pet has been waiting for you. I skyward. Here it comes. Ooh. How many more of your friends must die, Sai Sahan? Where is the amulet of kings? Let's do this. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. No, Please don't say it really is in my heart, because that would have been funny as hell. <laughs> Me figuring out that my son in Fallout 4 was actually him <laughs> right before I learned everything. That's funny. Hey, don't kill me. Kill my little clan of her. Hey, you're supposed to have something. What the hell? Well fought. Sai Sahan travels with worthy companions. My injuries are not serious. What are a few more scars to an old warrior? Scars have the virtue of reminding us that our past is real. My students, in my home, have not fared half so well. I did not find the Ring of Stendar's mercy, but now that the King of Worms knows you are here, it is only a matter of time before he launches another attack. Indeed, atop the Eastern Stair is the secret entrance to the Ancestral Crypt. The Ring is within. Follow me. The hidden entrance will not be obvious. Why would a crypt need a secret entrance? It's a wonder there's an unplundered crypt in all of Skyrim. You Nords could learn a thing or two from the builders of Hammerfell. Perhaps Hammerfell could also teach Nibine the virtue of good manners. Nibine? Who's Nibine? <laughs> that was slightly obvious. I can feel the presence of my ancestors whenever I come here. I am burdened with a great responsibility to honor their sacrifice and uphold their legacy. I, along with some of the most renowned sword singers who ever lived, must tread carefully and with great respect. <coughs> we both thought it would be well protected in the Valley of Blades. The most gifted young swordsmasters of Hammerfell are invited to train with Gasura. The town was bristling with strength and steel before the Titans showed up. I cannot say. Will I become a blade? Perhaps someone told him of my blade past. master. No. Perhaps he a skill line, a new skill line. Time hmm? in the halls of torment. Either way, I am to blame for the valley's destruction. No one I love will be safe until Mana Marco has been dealt with, and I shall need a proper weapon. Kasura said that my father's great sword lies with the ring. It seems proper that I should wield it in his honor. Tread lightly. Maybe I'll get a good sword in here too. These mm -hmm. dead. Wish there would be like the Dawnbreaker here. That would be cool. Of course, that's Meridia, not Stendar. Uh, there shouldn't be anybody here, but I'm just going to make sure. The Vard Hunding, son of Frandardo Hunding, Helanse no Shira, the greatest of the sword saints. The hearth of every household in Hammerfell has a small alcove containing a copy of his father's greatest work, the Book of Circles. It seems fitting that the Ring of Stendar's mercy lies with my father's great sword. We will need both for the battles that lay before us. Oh, that was a ring. My father, Nazir Atafsahan, I pledge myself to the destruction of Manamarko and the liberation of huh, Tamriel nice from the tyranny of the god of schemes, Molag Baal. The ring is yours. Guard it well. The hell? The ring is yours. 
Guard it well. Thank you. But I cannot leave the Valley of Blades. I must bury the dead and tend to them. I knew you would lead me to the Ring eventually. Give it to me. Your presence defiles this place, Mother Marco. Give me the ring, and I might spare your pathetic lie. I think I'll just we wear it. We down your Titan, and we'll strike you down soon enough. The Titan was a prelude to what's to come if you continue to defy me. Defy you? Your delusions of godhood are laughable, you ignominious corpse herder. Very well, then. I'll simply take the ring from your corpses. Blasphemy! How dare you waste the moment to fight your battle! Yeah. I'll have to wait on that one. Where are you? Where did you go? Oh, come on. Stay down. Consider hiding it in a bloody tomb. No, because someone like me would actually just accidentally find it. Already? Oh, it's still there. Okay. Oh, fuck. The hell? Oh, this is getting crazy. What the hell is going on here?
glad my can of fur can be like cannon fodder. <laughs> really helps. Seriously, it really does help being a cannon fodder. I hate to say that, but you know, since you can recreate them and everything, it's really not that big of a deal. Oh shit. Oh jeez, I need like, I guess frost protection or something, cause... I will avenge Mana Marco's blasphemy! That, that, that's that. Character. Undaunted Dave? Okay. The ring is ours for the time being. Guard it well. You must return to the harborage and give it to Lord Varen. It will remain safe in his keeping until it is time to travel to Sanquator. Lyris, Abner, and I will remain here to help Kasura bury the dead. And Lord Varen has been observing our progress. He will open the portal for you to return. There it is. The top of the stairs. Go, quickly! All right. The damage is great, but if you had not arrived when you did, there would be nothing left to rebuild. Be safe in the coming days, my friends. I look forward to your return. In my mind's eye, I witness your battle with the worm cult and with the undead Anse abominations. Your mission was successful, was it not? I witnessed the Titan's assault and sensed the deaths of many innocents. It is a great and terrible loss. Saisahan and the others will need time to aid Kasuna. I was really hoping for a sword. I will contact you when they return and we will begin the journey to Sankator. Which won't be long. <laughs> yep, and also that. Alright, elemental storm. And they'll be coming back in just a just a few once I get to a particular area, which is kind of funny. It's like, oh, wait for a while. Oh, okay. Two seconds later. Oh, I need your help. I got everything. Oh. <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay, here's the point where he probably will come out. Vessel, there we go. Meet me at the harborage. We are ready to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. Alrighty then. Did I actually ever read that one? Well, I didn't really read it, read it, but. Just trying to find all lore books. I know how to do that. <laughs> and so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. 
perhaps, but I wonder, will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. Destiny can crush us by fulfilling our wishes just as surely as it can by denying them. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. Before its capture, Sai Sahan hid the amulet of kings in the catacombs beneath the city. It is in the mountains of Calavia, the land of my youth. But I have little memory of that time. My exposure to the Elder Scrolls stole much of the man I once was. Speak to Sai Sahan. He can uh, answer that's how we turn blind, isn't it? Is he actually read a scroll? Time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sangratur. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. Ages past, Sangratur was a place of light, but I fear that is no longer the case. We must be prepared for anything. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great oaks of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sankrator. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also, a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the divines. You must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the ring of Stendar's mercy should open the vault doors. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sangrator, and so built her holy city there. But that was long ago. The city is a ruin now. It has become a dark place with areas best left undisturbed. We should avoid the crypt of heroes. I saw enough angry dead there to fill nine lifetimes. Gasura and I barely escaped with our lives. We will enter through the inner courtyard and avoid it entirely. No, come. Time waits for no man. The portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. <laughs> Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Tharn. up, Tharn. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gargoyles alert. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Don't say the internet is going to be a little crappy. What brings you to Sacretor, old friend? Looking for an amulet, perhaps? Marco, how did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every move? Yeah, sure. Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of King? My master, Molag Ball, demands it. Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Ball. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand. Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings. All things are possible. Nations will tremble Can I have and bow before me. I will be a god. The amulet of kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the divines. You mean your ward of Stendar, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me. The 
Menomarco has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Menomarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. We may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Sai, are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. <laughs> Through that gate lies the crypt of heroes. You can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. I might come back later. <laughs> Ooh, this is a place I probably can't go back. Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the, the amulet? amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the war is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the amulet of kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then, I will trap his essence within the gem. In time, the name Morlock Baal will be forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Manim Marco. Just your minions? Are you too scared to come over here yourself?
Hmm. Should I actually go back and try that area or no? Could be in trouble. Oh, that's not even allowing me to go there anymore. Dope. Uh, that's not where we need to go. Well, never mind. I'll take his head off. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I, I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Oh, brother. You better keep an eye on me. I'm getting ready to punch Tharn again. Sai Sahan is nothing if not determined. He once told me that achieving victory is like wrestling an ogre. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the ogre is tired. You'll see this through. Don't worry. Me? I'll chase Manamarco to the furthest corners of oblivion if I have to. Vengeance <laughs> is a powerful motivator. And I don't know if you've realized it yet, but under this hardened shell, I'm an optimistic fool who'd take a blade for any one of you. We're two of a kind. Stoic. Isn't that what people call us? Our hearts are connected, but we don't talk about our feelings. We don't even understand them ourselves. Maybe we'll talk about it someday, but today is not that day. That's tears. I thought I could handle this. When Marco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. I've pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. When Marco filled my head with shattered memories. They're like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into me. That voice. Menemarco's voice taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end. He never broke my will, but he broke something. I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now. <sighs> my pain has subsided. Let us make haste and finish this. We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. We must take care to respect their resting place. on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite anxious to see you. I have no wish to disfigure the corpses of my old comrades of the Dragon Guard. Don't. 
Hey there. Okay. I see a big battle ahead. Stendar, God of mercy, charity, and justice. Empower us with your wisdom and vision. Help us to right the wrongs of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. Now, we have only to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. Okay. I assume I had to go back. Through a person. A thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? That ain't it. So it must be over here. Second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. Uh-oh. I hate puzzles. In games like this. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered. Ah, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Dang it. Oh, okay. Uh, is that the thing? Okay. That's one of those. No? Hoping it didn't take too long. And yet, someone emptied it. A thief! Where's the thief? The heck? Kill them! These consecrations. We beseech you to lower your wards and grant us safe passage into the vault of kings.
Really? Dank corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a rift and brothel. It must feel very much like home to you, Tyndall. rotting Tyndall. corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. Oh. This definitely looks like a, a battle site. Your pathetic efforts will not succeed. The amulet of kings will be mine. I stand thus grace and the sword of my father. You will not win, Anamarco. Soon, you will know the extent of my power and bow before me. Through the power of the Amulet of Kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Manimarco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Manimarco. We'll fight you to our last breath. I will lose my own friends. Try and stop me. Beat the undead? Okay. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Okay, hard to always know who's friend and foe. With everybody around. <laughs> Is anyone that looks like like pure sheer bones or skeleton is probably a bad guy. So, of course, the big guy comes up. Okay. Uh oh, I heard that.
one barely gives me anything. to the Vault of Kings. The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Stand in the casting circle and direct the Ring of the Doors to lift the ward. The door should open wide. Look, the amulet. I can see it from here. Oh shit. Close the portal. Marco, let's do this. You have been hit by storm. God of the storm. I must be resistant to electricity. But not cold. Okay, fine. Let's do this. I'm done with the Manicop Mako. Damn. Lucy has some coin. Most powerful necromancer Tamriel has ever known. This is merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Worm! You think you can betray the lord of brutality and domination without consequence? You uh -huh. will pay for your arrogance. You will writhe in agony for the rest of eternity. Your that tortured must be a screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others. Let's go get the amulet. Everything many Marco did was designed to pit us against each other. We can't let that happen. Look what we can accomplish when we work together. How uncharacteristically optimistic of you, Titan. I may have that embroidered on the Divines gave you a nose for a reason, Tharn. So you can keep your mouth shut and still keep breathing. Well played, Titan Lord. Well played. Hmm. So... Thon is the, uh, sarcastic one. <laughs> hmm.
But he's also a trickster. It is done. The Amulet of Kings is ours once again. Manamaka will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out-scheme the God of Schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot imagine the torment that awaits him. Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog Bal is still a great threat, and the plane meld must be stopped, or this will all be for naught. I've not forgotten, Vestid. There's yep. another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestid. I seem to be getting a lot of these strong glyph healths. I might have to do some changes. Aha! Sacred Blue! Oh, Sacred Tor. <laughs> Oh, magic increased to five. Be back in just a few.